Why do we love maps? Maps evoke a sense of adventure. Every line, every curve. They represent a real place out in the world. All of them calling out to be explored. While looking at a map of a lesser known region of the Sierra Nevada, I noticed a series of lakes with tantalizing names that I had never heard of before. Wanna go backpacking this weekend? Sure, where do you wanna go? Check this out. So we decided to head deep into the emigrant wilderness, looking to explore as many of these unknown lakes as possible. The round trip would be at least 30 miles and we would have to do it over only three days. That coupled with rumors of downed trees, early season mosquitoes, and a potentially historic heat wave meant that we were in for a challenge. But nothing really awesome ever comes easy. We arrive at the Crabtree Trailhead at about 4.45. I know that sounds really late, but it is so hot. Even at 7,000 feet, it's still 90 degrees. Because we started so late in the day, I'm not totally sure where we're gonna end up tonight. Our sort of tentative plan had been to get to Gem Lake, but that's a nine mile hike and it's already 5.15. It is 6 p.m. and it is finally feeling like a comfortable temperature. We still have a lot of miles we want to cover tonight though. It is super beautiful, super green, super lush. The flip side of that coin is that I am getting absolutely devoured by mosquitoes. Even with the deep cream on, I've still just gotten like 10 bites in the last two minutes. Good news, bad news. The bad news is that we're not going to make it to Gem Lake tonight. The GPS coordinates that we were looking at were off by a mile from the trailhead where we started, so it was already a little bit ambitious given the time of day we started hiking. But on the bright side, it is a beautiful evening for hiking. I don't usually do a lot of night hiking. When the sun begins to set, the mountains take on a magical quality. Walking through Emigrant in the golden hour light is unlike any other hiking experience I've had. But as the sun continued to set, the spell was broken by the relentless mosquitoes. We made it to our campsite at Paiute Lake. Thankfully, the mosquitoes are not as bad as they were, but they're still pretty bad. <laughs> I have never actually seen mosquitoes quite this bad in the Sierras before, and actually, this is probably the worst mosquito situation I've ever seen, including in Alaska. Just getting day two started. It is 8.15 a.m. and it's already getting quite warm. <laughs> Our immediate plan is to head to Gem Lake and then we'll decide next steps from there. We made it to Gem Lake where we were supposed to camp in about 45 minutes. Since we're at Gem Lake, we have a decision about which direction to go next. If we go this way, we like know for sure we'll have lakes to stop at. Um, 
in case it's really hot. Okay, I guess we'll just do the loop. Even though we didn't really have a plan, we just kept following the trail deeper into the wilderness. What we found was a series of alpine lakes and meadows so beautiful. No matter how beautiful one was, the next proved to be even more spectacular. We made it to Upper Buck Lake, which was our point of turning around and starting the loop. Honestly, this lake is unbelievably gorgeous. I cannot believe I haven't heard more about it. Walking around the south side of Upper Buck Lake, I'm pretty sure we can see Granite Dome. If you've watched my 10 top backpacking trips video, then you'll know that the Granite Dome lakes are one of my top 10 favorite backpacking trips. I wish I could say the hiking continued to stay nice, but the heat eventually caught up with us. The afternoon air turned into a sauna and it was a miserable slog until we were back at Gem Lake. We did a loop and now we're back at Gem Lake and this is where we're gonna stop for the day. But I think we're done walking for the day. It's only 3 p.m. so now we have plenty of time to just enjoy the lake and maybe go for a swim. Going for a swim in an alpine lake after a super hot, super long day, there is nothing better. We also just had a little snack, so now I think the plan is just to set up camp and then maybe relax for a little bit before dinner. It is 7.45, already quite hot. <laughs> We're taking the lower trail back so it should be more shaded. Yesterday's camp was one of those amazing Sierra camping experiences. As corny as it might sound, Gem Lake was a total gem. Surprisingly, we saw nobody else while we were camping, so that was just an added bonus. We've got about eight miles of hiking to get back to the trailhead. It is mostly downhill, so hopefully we can finish it before we end up getting cooked to death. I had read online that there were a lot of downed trees on the lower trail. Someone I ran into made it sound like it wasn't as bad as what I had heard, but <laughs> this looks pretty bad. <laughs> I 
I'm now back in the forest about a little over a mile from the car. All in all, this was a really great trip. Despite the heat, despite the mosquitoes, despite the lack of planning, <laughs> it was really, really nice to just hang out at the lakes and, I don't know, explore a new part of the Sierra Nevada that I've never seen before. Sometimes it's better to go on an adventure without a plan. It's a good reminder that it's about the journey, not the destination.